The alley reeked of garbage and despair. A chill wind whipped through the crumbling brick buildings, scattering leaves across the cracked pavement. Will, a seasoned rescuer, navigated the treacherous terrain, his heart heavy with the familiar ache of knowing what awaited him. He was searching for a reported feral colony, and his gut told him this was the place. As he rounded a corner, a small, trembling figure caught his eye. It was a kitten, its fur matted and dirty, its eyes wide with fear. It cowered in the shadow of a dumpster, its tiny body barely visible. Will knew he couldn't leave it. He slowly approached, offering a plate of fresh food. The kitten hesitated, its whiskers twitching before cautiously accepting a bite. As the days passed, Will continued to visit the colony, bringing food and offering gentle encouragement. The kitten, he noticed, was exceptionally talkative, chirping and purring in a way that didn't sound feral at all. Her fur, though matted, was remarkably clean. It was clear she hadn't always lived on the streets. One evening, she finally let Will touch her, her tiny body trembling with a mix of fear and trust. She was a beautiful calico with stunning green eyes that held a depth of intelligence that surprised Will. You're a chatty one, aren't you? Will murmured, his heart softening. He named her Chatty Charlie, and she responded with a soft chirp nuzzling against his hand. He knew then that Charlie needed more than just food and shelter. She needed a home. With a sigh, Will scooped up Charlie and brought her inside. She nestled against him, her tiny body warming against his chest. The warmth of her purr washed over him, and he knew he had made the right decision. At the shelter, Charlie quickly blossomed, her true personality shining through. She adored snuggles and playful chases, her tail twitching with delight. The vet discovered signs of gum irritation, a telltale sign of neglect, but with treatment, she was on the road to recovery. Charlie is a prime example of why we need to make spay, neuter, and vaccination services more accessible, Will said, his voice filled with passion. There are so many cats like her, abandoned and forgotten. It's heartbreaking to see them struggling on the streets. They deserve better. Charlie's story wasn't unique, but it was a reminder that every life mattered. She was thriving in her foster home with Clara, a kind woman who was showering her with love and affection. Charlie was finally safe, her past struggles a fading memory. And in her eyes, Will saw a hope, a testament to the enduring power of compassion and the possibility of a happy ending, even for a shy kitten who had found herself lost in the concrete jungle.